Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today I have uh, a video about a uh, hamster free video converter. Uh, this is what you'll use if you want to upload HD, excuse me, SD videos faster to YouTube. Now, the system requirements uh, for this software is that it's for Windows only. Um, and uh, also, if you want to download this, you can go to the website di directly, uh, hamstersoft.com. Uh, now, the strengths of this software is that it's free. Um, it has an easy-to-use interface, uh, very simple uh, design, very easy, uh, the, the, but the button placements and everything. And also, this program will all automatically show uh, the resolutions that you're converting um, into, uh, whether it's a HD video or a SD video, standard definition video. And why is this important? Um, when you're dealing with MPEG-4 conversion, you have to convert in the resolution you recorded in. So, for example, if I recorded this, which I am in uh, 1080. Um, 1080p. When I use this software to convert it to MPEG-4, I have to convert with the same resolution or the quality would definitely take a hit. Also, um, the flaws of this, uh, actually another strength is that you can actually format to different devices, you know, an iPod, uh, uh, different formats, not only just MPEG-4, but different formats and also to different uh, devices as well, like an iPod and HTC and all that other stuff, which is really good. Um, now, the flaws of this software, your audio quality will take a hit. Uh, it really will take a hit. Um, not really will take a hit, just a small, like, smidgen of a hit your audio will take. Um, I've been doing videos for a long time, and as soon as I use this, I, I recognize that error. Um, I tried to play with the options and things like that. If you know more about audio than I do, they, they do give you options to tweak it and stuff to see if it comes out better. But it takes a little hit. I'm going to show that sample to you later. Now, if you download this from... The, another flaw is that if you download this from a, a website I'm going to give you, it's called CNET dot com slash downloads I'm gonna give you more info about that later but if you download this from this site it will make it will set your if you use Google Chrome it will set your browser um, main page to your home page to MSN and your URL box search engine to uh, Bing um, so it may look like there's something wrong with your computer like a lot of error messages will come up but your computer's fine I downloaded this my computer is fine ran a virus scan malware scan everything came out fine and uh, one more thing um, one, one, one more flaw it's not compatible with MPEG Stream Clip 1.2 um, I use this software with Pinnacle um, this video right now is going to be converted to MPEG-4 using, um, it's going to be using, uh, Pinnacle Studio HD version 15. And also, um, I use MPEG Stream Clip to, com to compress it again to another MPEG-4 file because it saves a lot of time in the uploading process to YouTube. Uh, but it, unfortunately, it's not compatible with MPEG Stream Clip. Uh, too bad. Um, I didn't try the opposite with, uh, with Pinnacle and things like that. Um, SD video can also be converted into MPEG-4, especially I, I recommend using when you use an S video. Now S video is like component, it's like the AV cables, red, white, and uh, yellow. Um, but S video has that other uh, that other thing to it that you can hook up to your X S video slot. Um, those videos can take a while to upload to YouTube as well, even though it's like a higher standard definition. But when you put it to MPEG-4, the quality, um, the file will be compressed without compromising on the quality. If you need an example of that, I uh, uploaded uh, Payday the Heist uh, for PS3. It was a preview. It's called Payday the Heist um, Review. Yeah, review, no, preview. It's Payday the Heist preview commentary. And I used uh, Stream Clip and Pinnacle Studio HD to convert that uh, file. And, and the quality still and audio still remain the same. Um, all right. Uh, 
the, the website I talked about, if you want to know any more information about any more uh, video converting software, I recommend that you go to um, cnet.com slash downloads. Um, this site is really good if you want to try out new software. Uh, this site is legit, 100% legit. They do like tech reviews and news and, and, and a lot of stuff. They do a lot of stuff. I love their site. They actually have an official YouTube channel too. Um, this site is free of viruses and malware and you don't have to register to download any of this software which is really good I wish more sites would do that <laughs> and um, you can uh, use software for free or you use it for a trial period and pay later you gotta pay for it straight up I think but uh, just put in the search box uh, video converter and uh, it will. Uh, you also can uh, filter out if you want it for Windows only or uh, Mac OS. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what it looks like on a computer and uh, how to navigate it. Give me one moment. Okay, now this is the website. It's uh, hamstersoft.com. Uh, All you have to do is scroll down and go over here where it says hamster free video converter and download now uh, if you need more help about downloading if you try download just contact me I'll help you out but for the sake of the video I'm just gonna skip through the whole downloading process and just get straight to the software now you see the software on my desktop right here now I open it already and look how easy this thing looks look how easy this interface is like I mentioned before this is a very easy interface very straight to the point and look at the button layout <clears throat> where it says add files all you gotta do is click on add files and uh, select the video that you want to convert um, now let me see now uh, this software um, you try to you try to convert an actual video if you convert an MPEG 4 file I think it'll take longer no actually never mind Never mind, I take that back. I think it will take longer, but just try it out. Uh, right now, I'm going to do a, a Windows Media Audio video file, which is a, a, a normal file I use. Um, so, you'll see the name of the video, and you'll see step two. Um, if you want to clear the list, you can go down to clear list. But you can also upload multiple uh, movies as well. But I don't know if it's going to compress it into one file, so just make sure you just do it one one at a time, because I never tried it with multiple files. Um, so you go ahead and you click Next. Now Next is going to take you. Oh, sorry about that. Next is going to take you to the next screen. Let me see. Let me scroll up real quick. Now, what I said in the beginning, this this website, I mean this website, this software is awesome because you can convert into like different devices, Sony, Nokia, HTC, uh, LG, Samsung, iRiver, uh, Creative, Blackberry, this, which is good. Now, you want to you wanna go down to format and, and devices. Now, this is very uh, important to know. And I didn't know this. I had to film this video over because I made a mistake. Now, MPEG-4, you'll see all the way to the second one, MPEG-4, and you'll see one MPEG-4, MP-4, MPEG-4. Uh, there is a difference in the audio. Um, so pick MP-4 because it did make a difference in the audio, like a slight difference. It sounded a little bit better. But once you go down, you're going to see frame size, which is right here. You're going to see frame size right here. And you're going to you going to click on preserve size, which is the actual resolution you recorded in. Remember how I say you have to keep the same resolution you recorded in? That's this that's the height. The height is 1080. That's uh that that the HD. You're going to keep everything the same, auto, 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 the bit rate, the frame rate and the video codec. You're going to keep <clears throat> where it says video quality right here. You're going to keep that the same. 
Now with the audio, I'll just keep it the same. Keep the sound on, keep the audio codec auto, sampling rate, bit rate. If you know more about audio than I do, you can tinker with it to see if you can get better, better sound. Now, this right here, when you press step three to convert, it will tell you where do you want it to put on your computer. I pretty much put it on my desktop so I can just find it when I need it um, and just take it from the desktop. It's just much easier. And you're going to press OK. Now, it's going to go through that. And with MPEG-4 files, MP4 files, you can know it's working when it takes long to convert. There is a certain... Um, time that it'll convert these files um so see how is it doing it now one percent this is actually normal for videos it's normal um so don't get caught off guard i mean this is actually a four minute video so it, it will take longer um if it's short it will take shorter time but mpeg4 mp4 when you do it it's going to take a while that's the only downside but the time you save right here i guarantee you you will uh, you will save it later when you're uploading. So let me go ahead and show you a sample video of what I mean about audio taking a hit. It's gonna be about 10 to 20 seconds. I'm gonna show you a Windows uh, uh, one I did a Windows Movie Maker audio, and then I'm gonna show you the hamster free video converter audio. It's gonna be about 10 20 seconds a piece. And so uh, let me show you. Give me one moment. All right. Now it's up to $20 and I'm out. I'm officially out. It's about two hours and 35 minutes. I'm done. Good luck to whomever wins this. Congratulations. Me, on the other hand, I'm dipping out. So there you have it. Uh, the things that I learned from this is nothing. All right. Now it's up to $20 and I'm out. I'm officially out. It's about two hours and 35 minutes. I'm done. Good luck to whomever wins this. Congratulations. Me, on the other hand, I'm dipping out. So there you have it. Uh, the things that I learned from this is nothing. Okay, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any, uh, if you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up. Um, Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. And if you need to contact me, hit me up in the comments section of this video. I do answer my uh, my message box when I see people asking questions through comments. And if you if you want to contact me at my email address, it's techgamesetc at gmail.com. Or you can just hit me up on that PlayStation Network at Asian underscore boy underscore 100. I thank you so much for watching. See you later. Thanks a lot.